So did you know that you're probably holding your camera wrong? If you take a look at this video, you'll probably see that you are. Now we're going to take a look at different ways to hold different types of cameras. We're going to start out with cell phones. And we've got here my cell phone, my old little orange cell phone. And you can see one of the first tenets here of holding a camera is to create a tripod. You want to kind of create this triangle that I've drawn out on green in the sc uh, on the screen here. And you want to make basically a really good support. and part of that too is the way that you hold it. You can see there that I have my second hand, my outside hand, cupped around the inside hand. And this right here, the one that you're seeing with the orange, um, is another way to hold uh, your cell phone camera. It might not be quite as effective. Now holding your phone or your camera with one hand is definitely a no-go. You can see the yellow arrow kind of indicates how your phone could wobble or shake. Um, you can also try holding your forearm or something like that when you're holding your phone up, but in general the best way to do it is to just hold it with both hands. Now the same principles are going to count for point and shoot cameras. Point and shoots are really not that different than cell phone cameras, especially these days. But you can see here the way that I'm holding uh, the camera. This is a landscape photo and so I'm holding it flat. And I've sort of created again the same tripod with my arms and you can see also with my uh, left hand, I'm kind of creating a base for the camera to sit on, and then I'm using the right hand to control it. Again, the same thing with holding the camera with one hand. If you do that, you're going to get a lot of shake. Um, some people will try to kind of prevent that by holding it with just their fingers, like right there, and that really is not going to be as secure as holding it with both hands. Um, now, for taking photos that are not landscapes, so if we're taking a portrait uh, format photo, a lot of people do this. They hold the camera up and they sort of let it hang out of their hand and they push the button. And that is definitely not the way to take a photo. You want to make sure again that you're holding the camera body up against, so tight in your hands and that your arms are then tightly tucked into your body so that when you're taking the photo the camera is not going to shake or move. Now again, the same thing that accounts the same thing that uh, accounts for a cell phone camera or a point and shoot is going to count for your big fancy expensive cameras as well. First of all, um, even more important than with any of the other ones maybe is to wrap the strap around your arm. You want to make sure that if it falls, which sometimes it does, that you're not going to lose your camera. Um, you want to also create again the same base, and this time it's even more important. You want to create that base with your hand that you put your camera on and you want to tuck your shoulders and tuck your um, elbows into your body. You can see here again the same, th same thing and you can also see that I had an orange uh, circle on my left elbow because I was holding it wrong. It wasn't right up against my body. Again, same thing. People try to hold their cameras in funny ways when they're taking portrait photos but the real correct and professional way to do it is to tuck that thing right up against your body with your elbows into your, into your stomach and with your outside hand sort of cupping your inside hand and doing all of the focusing and zooming on the lens. You can see that that's a very important part of how you hold the camera. Again, a lot of people try to make up for that by keeping one elbow in tucked into their body and then one other hanging out there, but that doesn't work. Um, and lastly, you want to make sure that you're breathing. You can see here I'm demonstrating, kind of exaggerating, um, but you want to breathe in before you take the photo and as you're taking the shot you want to be breathing out and either in the middle or at the end of your breath. Alright, so that's how to hold your camera. We're going to have more lessons uh, with a lot of things like this at, here at allversity.org.